Hey everybody, my name's Taylor. Welcome back for another adventure. Today I'm in a gravel pit in Minnesota. All right, so I gotta pause the video real quick because at this point of the hunt, I thought 100% in my heart that it was okay for me to be in this gravel pit. I find out later, it is not. Two separate people who don't know each other told me about this pit. I'm gonna get into more of the details of that at the end of the video. I will say I did get permission from the company who owns that gravel pit to make this video and to talk about the proper etiquette for rock hunting at gravel pits. And I'm gonna tell you at the end of the video how to get permission to rock hunt at gravel pits. See that. So I'm hoping we can find some Lake Superior Agus today. I've been here about five minutes. I've already found a good little baggie full of stuff. Let me show you. So a few of these like this one, this one and this one I'm not too sure about. I'm pretty sure these two are agates, but I didn't bring a water bottle. So I gotta get those cleaned up later. I'm really looking forward to see what else this gravel pit has. Might have one right here. This thing looks like a nodule. It's kind of bands. Oh yeah, check those out. There's definitely some bands in there. That's a good one. Get that cleaned up. That's really cool. Just found this guy sticking in there. I honestly didn't think it was anything. And then looking at it closer, it's got some bands in there. <laughs> That's also going to be a really cool one to get cleaned up. Sweet. And a couple chunks of Jasper here that I'm going to stick in my backpack. Those are pretty cool. Got ourselves a smaller one here, but got some cool colors. It's like a little nodule. That's pretty neat. Just pick this thing up. Almost looks like banded shirt. I think I got another one here. Right there. Oh my. That's for sure an agate. The bands on this thing. Oh, it's gonna look so cool. It's wild. Absolutely wild. You can see. That's sweet. I'm excited. Look at the colors in there. It's so dirty still. Let's find ourselves a little one right here. It's pink. And it's got some amazing bands in it. Look at that. That's really pretty. Awesome. Just found this little guy. Pretty wild. Almost looks like a fire agate. <laughs> and then right here, got another one. Got some pretty pretty cool bands in there. It's white and looks like blue and orange and awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Alrighty, we got another one here, right there. See a little bit of bands, but I saw another one. Decent size. Right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Nice quartz banding going on in there. Sweet. It's starting to rain. Woohoo! There's a nice piece of jasper right here. Stick that in the bag. Then some porphyry, which is. One of my favorites. Love this stuff. All right, so I've been walking around a little bit. Rain's making a little hard. I found a few little guys, really pretty, but I just spotted what I believe is gonna be one of our best finds of the day. As far as bands go, look at those bands. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so sweet. Wow, it's like red, white, and blue. That is so beautiful. Can't beat it. All right, I found another little handful. This one's got some nice bands on it. Found this nice chunk of porphyry. And then, set this here. 
think I found where to go. Right there. I believe this is one. It's really dirty. But then, right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the bands on that thing. It's insane. Oh my gosh. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Alrighty, so I found a lot of really amazing stuff. I'm excited to get all those cleaned up. I'm gonna hike back to my car. Before we do, I found one more piece of porphyry to show you. Check this out. <laughs> How cool is that? That is sweet. So I got everything cleaned up from that hunt and I'm really excited to show you the slideshow at the end. But before I do, I gotta talk about what happened at that gravel pit today. So what happened was I was at the pit, everything was fine from the start of the hunt to the end of the hunt. While I was out there, I actually ran into another person, agate hunting, who weirdly recognized me from these videos, paid a compliment to the channel, and then we parted ways and it was all good. I left the pit a while after that on my own terms and I don't know what happened in between there for those hours or whatever, but I ended up getting talked to by a guy on Facebook about the pit being uh, private property trespassing. Tried saying, nope, I have heard it is a good pit. Long story short, I found out that I was trespassing inadvertently. So I felt absolutely terrible about it. I actually lost hours and hours of sleep because I felt so bad about it because I don't trespass. I'm not about that. I don't stand for it or anything like that. So I thought, the only thing that I can do to make it right is to call the company, ask for an owner or a manager of that pit, which is what I did. And I got routed to somebody, got their voicemail, left my name, my number, my concern. They called me back 10 minutes later and I told the guy straight up that I trespassed. I told him the situation about the two people who told me about the pit, the details of that, how I found out through Facebook that I had trespassed. And I just, I owned it. I owned the mistake and I told him I trusted people's word and he was very understanding and actually thankful that I was honest about the trespassing. I did tell him when I was out there I was making a video and I make rock hunting videos. I'm not asking permission to come back, just permission to make the video. And then that way I can also talk about gravel pit etiquette, talk about the proper way to gain access to gravel pits. He told me they used to give out permits. They used to let people come in and look for agates and other stuff, but then people started abusing the system and the insurance company told them, you gotta stop, it's too much of a liability, so they don't let anybody in at all anymore. So the best way and the only way to go get permission for gravel pits is to call the company, talk to an owner or a manager of the pit and see if you can get a permit or a written note saying you have permission. 99 times out of 100, you're gonna get denied because it's too much of a liability. And as rock hounds, we have to respect that because it's private property, it's a business, things are going on, that's dangerous. So yeah, that is the only way you're gonna be able to get permission to rock hound in gravel pits. You gotta get permission from the company, can't go by word of mouth from people. That's just the way it is nowadays. And it's okay because there's plenty of other public places you can go to to rock hound and find whatever treasures you're looking for. And as uncomfortable as it was having the conversation, about me trespassing on Facebook, having the conversation with the company, and then talking about it on here, even though it happened and it was accidental. I'm actually glad it happened because now I have a chance to share it with you guys and let you know the right and wrong ways to go about it. So hopefully you all can make the right decision and just call the company, try to get permission. And if not, there, like I said, there's plenty of other places to go to. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys can respect the rules and follow the same guidelines in the future. If you are going to gravel pits and places like that where it is private property, do your homework, do your research, and everything will be okay. Again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate all of you, and I look forward to our next adventure. Thank you. Bye.